Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel, American Viscountess, and I'm really excited because today is the launch of a new playlist here on the channel called American Viscountess in the Kitchen. And the reason that I decided to create this playlist is because I'm very interested in another lady who married into the Montague family, an American just like me, Alberta Sturgis, the ninth Countess of Sandwich. And she married into the Montague family during what was kind of considered that gilded age. She married George Montague, my husband's great grandfather in 1905. But during that period, she lived in the family ancestral seat, which was called Hinchingbrook House. And that house unfortunately was sold in 1955 due to economic depression and like many other historic houses during that period that didn't survive as well. Um, but luckily we have Mapperton instead. What's so fascinating I think for me about Alberta is number one, she left a huge archive of material. Her collection of letters is outstanding. But something else that I discovered recently in our archive room was her recipe book. And it's beautiful, it's very worn because it is over 100 years old. And being an American, just like me, sometimes I like to just wonder what it was like for Alberta living at Hinchingbrook, being the lady of the manor, and we know during that period, there was a lot of staff, there were a lot of parties, there were a lot of preparations. And as the lady of the manor, you would be communicating to your cooks on a daily basis on what meals to prepare, not just for your family, but of course for the parties, because there were many parties that were held during that period. And when I discovered her recipe book, I was, overwhelmed really with emotion because this book gives me a sneak peek into what her life might have been like and of course what she would have eaten and what she would have served to her guests and it's been so much fun just going through this book and jotting down some of my favorite recipes and recipes that I want to recreate so I thought this is the perfect time to recreate something with you here in the kitchen, the Mapperton kitchen. And today I have chosen a fantastic, easy recipe because I will tell you that a lot of these recipes, you know, they take hours to create. So hours and hours to create. So I decided on a much uh, more, I think, simpler recipe to create today and it's, called salad dressing. And I think for many of us, you know, we know that during that period over a hundred years ago, there were these huge kitchen gardens and everything was pretty much grown on site. They didn't have those processed ready-made meals that we're also used to or drive-throughs. They really did cook at home for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it became, I think, very much a central part of their lives and you can see this through this cookbook because some of the recipes like i said take hours luckily this one doesn't but the reason i also chose this recipe is because when we do go to the supermarkets today we can see those aisles filled with bottled uh, salad dressings and i think it's wonderful if we're able to make a salad dressing of our own from scratch Thrilled to say that this week's video is sponsored by Surfshark, which has helped me so much, especially when traveling. And as we all know, travel is back and back with a bang. So if you have some travel plans coming up anywhere in the world, listen up because you're not going to want to leave home without Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN, a virtual private network to keep your details and information safe online, especially when traveling. And I travel extensively around the UK when I'm filming at Britain's historic houses. So I always use Surfshark whenever I need to get online. And did you know that when we connect to those 
public Wi-Fi's at cafes or restaurants or even public spaces, it's less safe and therefore really, really important for you to use a VPN on those public networks because it encrypts your data and keeps your details and information safe on those public Wi-Fi's. So anyone who tries to snoop on you won't be able to see what you're doing or where you're doing it all from. You can even access your bank safely on those public Wi-Fi's using Surfshark. It's so easy to use, you just download the app onto your computer and you can switch to a different IP address in a different country which hides your own IP address from hackers so those hackers think you're in one country when you're actually not. For example, if you're traveling to the UK, connect to an American server and access the biggest movie catalog on Netflix. Surfshark is offering you an incredible deal. Use my code VICOUNTESS to get an exclusive deal and three extra months free using the link down below. So I'm just gonna read through the recipe and then we're gonna start to make it. And in fact, if you wanna go grab these things, you might be able to make, along, make it along with me as well. So you can see here, I have boiled three eggs and then carefully cut out, like an avocado, the yolks. So the yolks are fully cooked through. Uh, and then over here, we have a tablespoon of cream. Then she mentions that we have to have two tablespoons of the freshest oil, also a teaspoon of salt, so I've got some lovely salt here, and a teaspoon of mustard, and when that is all finished, we have one more, uh, which is at the very end, that you add three tablespoons, I have it ready to go, of French vinegar, but I think any white wine vinegar will work really, really well. And then, uh, she ends it like this and this is what is so wonderful and it goes to show you that these houses did have these fantastic kitchen gardens where they could just go out and pick the leaves and she writes care should be taken that the salad herbs should be quote unquote morning gathered and left to lie an hour in spring water dried in a cloth then the whites of the eggs may be added cut up and mixed with the dressing so should we get started here? Again, I'm gonna take these three yolks that are now completely hard boiled and you put them in a sieve. Yes, that's right. We're gonna put them in a sieve and she says use a wooden spoon and rub them through. So let's have a go at that. I was so enthralled when I found Alberta's recipe book that I thought I have to share these recipes with the world. And so uh, just a bit ago, I launched the American Heiress Supper Club. And the Supper Club was a huge success. It was live, it's like a cook along, and it was online. And we had people joining from all over the world and this supper club consisted of beautiful, amazing recipes. So we had Alberta's incredible marinade. We made her bermani, which is like a roux. Uh, we then had her salmon, uh, which was marinated in the marinade. And we also then, uh, it was accompanied by a uh, potato dish called potatoes a la Lyonnaise absolutely delicious, and a mushroom dish, which Chef Jo wasn't quite, uh, she wasn't quite keen on it, but after we made it, it was absolutely delicious, and it was called a puree de champignons, so pu puree of mushrooms. We then uh, followed that up with, of course, a pudding, apple pudding, and then a drink. So the drink was really interesting because in her recipe book, she has a uh, something called a beer cup. And the ingredients for that beer cup were, you know, they, they were really, I have to say, quite intriguing. Let's just put it that way. And it was such a fun um, supper club that we are doing it again. That's right. So if you're interested in joining the live and online American Heiress Supper Club, 
do check out the details down below in the description and join the waitlist to be the first to know when we open up registration for the next one, which is coming this autumn. Right, so I've done it, everybody. Oh my goodness, can we just have a look at this? Because it is rather extraordinary. So you can see the bottom here. I mean, this is unbelievable. It's like very, very finely, finely shredded egg yolk. And I'm just gonna take off the bottom here. This is our salad dressing, everybody. Oh my goodness. There we go. How pretty is that? I think it's so pretty. So now, all we're going to do now, super, super easy, is add a couple of tablespoons of really good, and she writes really good, olive oil. I hope mine is as good as she would like it to be. And from here, then we've got just a lovely uh, tablespoon of cream. So I just use a light cream there. Wow, it looks absolutely amazing, amazing. Now from here, she just says a teaspoon of salt. So I'm just gonna add in a teaspoon of salt. She also writes a teaspoon of mustard and I'm using Dijon mustard. There's that. She does say to sort of stir it up, mix it together before you add the vinegar. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So again, vinegar being added. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful, it's actually, it's unbelievable, I cannot believe this. Smells fantastic, wow. Now she also does mention if you want to, you can chop up your egg whites and actually add this to the salad dressing. I think I'm gonna bottle mine up in here and then add the egg whites actually to my salad itself. That's my plan. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. So I've got mine bottled up. I've saved just a little bit amount that I can pour onto my salad itself. But this, I mean, it, you have to admit, this is rather beautiful. And I would say prettier than what you can find in a supermarket. Right. I am just about to taste it, so do stay tuned for that. But if you would like the recipe, details down below. And now for the tasting. So as Alberta suggested, you can use your egg whites, cut them up, and mix them in your salad with the dressing. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. I've saved, as I said, a little bit left here, and I'm gonna pour that over. Ooh, yum. Yum, 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 yum. Well, I am so excited to try it because it looks beautiful, so I hope it tastes as good as it looks. A little bit of egg, a little bit of green. Mmm. Definitely, definitely better than any store-bought salad dressing. Uh, that is for sure. Thank you, Alberta. And thank you all of you for joining me here, American Viscountess, in the kitchen. And I hope to see you back here very, very soon. Bye, everybody.